Hi, welcome. I'm Jackie Maru, and this is going to be a short class just to help strengthen and lengthen your body and also help you find some clarity in your mind. If you like this class, you could check out yogadownload.com where I have lots of longer yoga classes available. If you have one at home, grab a yoga block and a small bolster, pillow, and a folded yoga blanket. If you don't have any of those props, no worries, you can make do without. Let's begin in a comfortable seated position on your cushion or folded blanket, or just sit as comfortably as you can. You can sit cross-legged or whatever works for your body. Rest your hands on your knees, sit tall, and close your eyes. Wrap your mind around your breathing. Deep in your inhale breaths. And lengthen your exhale breaths. Set an intention for this class. What is it that you need right now? And keep your intention with you throughout class. Open up your eyes and come to a tabletop position on all fours. You can pad your knees if you need to with your folded blanket. Spread your fingers wide and stack your shoulders over your elbows and your wrists. Straighten your left leg behind you, toes to the mat, and press your left heel back and down. Feel the stretch all throughout your calf. Release. Other side, straighten right leg, toes to the mat, press right heel back and down until you feel a good stretch in your right calf. And release back to tabletop. Side plank variation. Straighten your left leg out. Bring your foot all the way to the mat, all four corners. Reach your left arm high. You can walk your right toes slightly behind you to give you more stability. Reach your left arm over your head towards the top of your mat and reach through your fingers as you press your left foot down to feel length on the side of your body. Breathe in here. Breathe out and release, tabletop, other side. Straighten right leg out, foot down to the mat, reach right arm high. Option to walk left toes slightly behind you for more stability. Reach right arm over your head, reaching towards the top of your mat, and press your right foot down and feel the length down the right side now. Breathe in, breathe out and release to tabletop position, all fours on your mat. Inhale as you lift your chest and tilt your tailbone, look up. Exhale for cat as you gently tuck tailbone, round spine and let head and neck fall. Again, tilt tailbone, look up, exhale, tuck tail, and pelvis under, round back, and let head and neck fall. One more time, lead the movement with your pelvis and end with your head. You inhale to look up. You exhale to round and let head and neck fall. Just come to a neutral spine. Step or carry right foot forward. Right knee stacks right above right ankle. Reach both arms up and over your head. Lengthen from your waist to the tips of your fingers. Stay here or interlace your hands, cross your thumbs, and point your first fingers for a steeple grip. Lengthen up as you inhale. Lean to the right as you exhale into a side bend and hold here, just breathe deeply. Release, come back up to center. 
Release hands down to the mat. Back to tabletop, knees side by side. Now step left foot forward. Knee directly on top of ankle, lunge in and reach arms up and over your head. Soften and then lengthen up. Stay here or interlace your fingers, cross your thumbs and point your first fingers. Breathe in as you lengthen. Breathe out as you lean over to the left and keep breathing deep as you hold and lengthen. Release, reach back up to center. Release both hands down to the mat. Lift your back knee up off the mat and step forward to the top of your mat. Feet hip width apart, bow over your legs in a gentle forward bend. Option to bend knees if needed or if that feels better on your back. Feel the stretch down the back side of your body. Come up to a halfway lift, either with fingertips to the floor or with hands to shins. Draw your shoulders slightly back. Keep your chin at neutral. Breathe in. Breathe out. Rise all the way up to standing. Reach your arms over your head. Palms face each other. Urdhva Hastasana. Stand in your strength. Breathe in and lengthen up. Exhale, bring your hands in front of your heart. Bend your knees, sit your hips back and down, Utkatasana chair, weight in heels, reach arms up and over your head. Pretend there's a block in between your thighs and you're squeezing that block, lengthen up and out of your waist. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, forward fold. Bow over your legs, relax your head and neck down. Lift your left leg in the air and step it back, low lunge. Check in, right knee directly over right ankle. You can take a block in your left hand or just keep your hand down on the floor. Low lunge twist, reach right arm high. Pull right hip crease back. Draw both shoulders back. Keep head in line with spine and then hold here and breathe. Release to a wide leg, forward fold over the left side of your mat. Bow over your legs, option to bend knees here. Relax your head and neck down and feel the stretch all along the back line of your body. Release and come up halfway here. And then continue up the rest of the way, star pose. Draw your heels in and your toes out. Reach your arms out and up. Press down through your feet, engage your legs, and lengthen up. Take a big breath in here. As you exhale, take your hands to your heart. Bend your knees, horse pose. Roll the weight of your body towards the outer edges of your feet. If you want to bounce a little here or move side by side for your first one, go for it. And then just settle into the posture. Lift the center of your chest up. Inhale as you straighten your legs, come back to star pose. Reach out and up. Exhale back to horse. Settle into your horse. Take your hands and bring them behind your head, elbows wide. Breathe in. Exhale as you lean over to the right side. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, lean over to the left side. Inhale, come back up. Reach your arms overhead, straighten your legs, star pose. Now, warrior two, bend into your front knee, bring your back foot parallel to the back edge of your yoga mat, right arm forward, left arm back, right knee over ankle. Hold here. Hold with a steadiness, but also with ease if you can. Breathe deep. Tune in to your strength. It's there. Breathe in where you are. Breathe out. Reverse triangle, straighten your front leg all the way. 
Left hand comes down to the outside of your left leg. Reach your right arm up and back. Two strong legs. Reach up and back as you inhale. Release to low lunge as you exhale. Bring your hands down. Step your right foot back, plank pose. We'll hold a strong plank. Option to drop knees down to the mat at any time. Pretend you have a block in between your thighs and you're squeezing that block. Keep your chin just in a neutral position. Press through the pads of your fingers and hold. You are strong. Keep your breath flowing. You've got this. Breathe in. Breathe out, lower your knees to the mat, lower your belly to the mat. Get your arms long beside you, palms face the mat. Now lift your upper body up off the mat for a locust variation. Lift your legs now up and off the mat. And if you feel compression in your low back when you do that, just lower your legs back down. Stay with it and let your breath flow as you hold. Release, hands to the mat. Press to tabletop and then to downward facing dog. In down dog, you can bend knees as much as you need to. Be sure to press through the inside of your hands as well as the pads of your fingers. Feel the strength in your upper body and press your heels down to get more length down the backs of your legs. Breathe in. Breathe out. Walk forward to the top of your mat. Rise up to halfway lift, so hands to floor or shins and hold. Draw your shoulders back and draw your front ribs slightly in towards one another. Now rise up the west rest of the way, reach your arms over your head and lengthen into Urdhva Hastasana. Press through your feet, reach up, release your hands to your heart. Bend your knees, Utkatasana, chair pose. Sit back again, reach your arms up and over your head. Weight more so in your heels, spine long. Breathe in. As you exhale, forward fold over your legs, just bow it down. Lift your right leg high behind you. Step back, long, low lunge. Left knee directly over left ankle. Block in right hand or fingertips or hand to the floor. Low lunge twist. Reach left arm high. Pull your left hip crease back towards the back of the room. Draw your shoulders back and keep your head in line with your spine. Let your breath just flow naturally as you hold. Release to a wide-legged forward fold over the right side of your mat. You can always bend knees if you need to. Melt into it. Rise up halfway. And then the rest of the way, come up. Star pose, heels in, toes out. Arms out and up. Firm your thighs and lengthen. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, hands to the heart, horse pose. Weight rolls to outer edges of feet here. Press your knees back. Lift the center of your chest. As your inhale comes, straighten your legs. Return to star as you reach up and out. Exhale, hands come back to the heart. Sit into it. This side, take your left hand to your left thigh or knee. Reach your right arm up and over as you lean. Hold here and press your right foot down towards the mat as you reach up and over. Release. Come back to center. Take right hand to right thigh or knee. Reach left arm up and over. Press now your left foot down into the mat as you reach up and over towards your right. Stay with it. Release, come back up to center, and then back to star. Reach up, 
Warrior two, Virabhadrasana two to the front. Back foot turns in parallel to the back of your mat. Left toes forward, left arm forward, right arm back. Full breaths as you hold. Just feel everything. Strong and centered. Present. And release, reverse triangle, straighten your front leg, reach up and back. Right hand can just rest lightly on the outside of your right leg. Reach up and out, inhale your breath, exhale to a low lunge, and then step back to plank. Now, forearm plank, lower your forearms to the mat. Separate your feet hip width distance apart. Option to drop knees down any time that you need. Squeeze your legs in towards each other like you're squeezing a beach ball or a block in between your thighs. Make sure your head and neck are comfortable here. And breathe. Stay with it. You are strong. I'm right here with you. Stay through the resistance, but know it's okay to drop knees down if needed. Release, lower all the way down to your belly. Slide your hands down by your sides, palms face the mat. Again, locust lift chest, legs, and hands. Stay here, or you can interlace your hands behind you and open your chest and your shoulders. Breathe and lift up. Release, hands come down to the mat, tabletop position. Now, side plank. Straighten your left leg out just like you did in the beginning. Toes to the mat, foot to the mat, and reach your left arm high. Stay right here and work this, or you can straighten your bottom leg, your right leg, and place it on the mat. You're welcome to stagger your feet with left foot in front of right foot or to stack your feet. You can lift top leg and you can bring right knee down any time that you need to. Find what works for you and hold. Make sure you're breathing. Can always rest when you need. And release, tabletop position, pause in tabletop. Breathe in, breathe out, other side. Right foot to the mat, all four corners. Right arm high. Stay right here, work this. Or straighten left leg and stagger your feet so right foot's in front of left. Or stack your feet. Take this anywhere you want, adapt this posture to work for your body and make it be in service of what your intention is for this class today. Breath is flowing wherever you are. And release tabletop position. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, lift your chest, cow pose. Exhale, round your spine, cat pose. Child's pose. Walk your knees wide. Bring your big toes towards each other. You can grab a pillow. Place it on top of your calves and heels. Draw your hips down and bow your head. Take rest here. Feel the opening through your hips. Take another breath wherever you are. Let it out through your mouth. And then come back to tabletop and have a seat. You can move any props aside. Bring your feet hip width distance apart. Reach your arms forward and roll yourself down onto your yoga mat. 
Wrap your right leg over your left leg like you're crossing your legs in a chair and draw your knees in towards your body. Grab a hold of your knees or slide your hands down and hold over the tops of your feet for a whale's tail. And then release and switch sides, left leg in front of right. Draw your knees gently towards your body or slide your hands on top of your feet so you're holding the tops of your feet. Releasing all the muscles in your backside. And then release, hug both knees gently in towards your chest. Extend your legs out in front of you for Shavasana with palms laying up. Close your eyes and just be still. Just give yourself this time to rest. Keep the intention with you that you set in the beginning of this class. And stay in Shavasana as long as you need. Thank you so much for joining me for this class. Have a wonderful day or evening. Namaste.